we saw Impact doing a bit of a crossover with, with AEW. We got Don Callis popping up there, Kenny Omega popping up this week on Impact. Did that surprise you? Because for a long time, we'll call it especially the post-Samoa Joe era, he had contracts or, or he, he was working two or three different places. And WWE was like, oh, sure, okay. Then he pops up on ROH and they're like, nope, contract now. And they, they don't do a lot of that. We're seeing other companies do that a lot more and really lean on each other. Does that surprise you? At this point, no, I don't see why not. Like uh, with what I'm building, with the narrative, with what is taking place, companies like AEW, Ring of Honor, Impact, MLW, WWE, we're all, they're, we're all connected in the wrestling world in some way or some shape or some form. And to act like they don't exist to each other is silly to me because there's so many intriguing possibilities. Granted, from a business perspective, I'm not on the levels to make any decisions like that or what to do because there is competition and you do want to, I don't know, maximize your profits and beat other people because it's a competitive market. But at the same time, if the whole industry grows from dabbling within each other the avenue for stories raise uh it's intriguing and it's very cool and it's like watching crossovers in the marvel universe perhaps is that a thing that just popped in my head yes i had no intention of saying that but i mean avengers is gonna be the biggest movie of all time for the rest of our lives especially with movie theaters going on and that's combined so many different worlds that do exist within the one wow that's awesome sweet Oh, I never thought I'd see these two guys interact and have a fight that nobody bleeds in. And then they pummel each other for days, but then everything's fine afterwards and they're best friends. It's cool. It's unique. It draws interest. And then uh, with the fans connected with the narrative, I view that as just a small little niche I can create that is like supplemental content to whatever's happening in whatever wrestling federations, whether it's independent whether we use people from other companies or they're allowed to do it, they step in there, they can tell stories within that world and maybe help their characters. Even if a small minority of fans see it, the ones that do understand the characters are watching on the bigger platforms more or subliminally, they found themselves in some way that they can take that act to the bigger platforms and fans notice a change within them and they are a better performer because of it in in the narrative you and any of that makes sense it sounded great. yes yes it did it sounded okay. great especially the marvel reference 